Hey guys! Welcome to the Miss Achi pageant. Today we're going to be using the Gaynor Minden Flexibility Band. Located on my body. And also on dancewearcorner.com. My beautiful people, today we're going to be doing stretches for flexibility. And don't worry if you're like, hey, I don't have this band. Because guess what we're doing, Brayden? A giveaway! A giveaway! Boo, 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 boo. Here are the rules. Number one, you have to be subscribed to this lady. Number two, you need to be following at Miss Ati and at Dance for Corner on the gram. Number three, our last rule, you have to comment on my giveaway post and Dance Wear Corner's giveaway post on Instagram. And it's me using the band in a ponche on the grass, in the road, dangerous road conditions. Brayden and I still took the picture. I almost got hit by a car. He almost got hit by a Prius, if we're being for real. But you guys, go enter the giveaway and some lucky audience member is going to win a free Gaynor Minden flexibility band. And then you can be just like me. You guys, just to prove that we took the photo in the grass, I have grass on my feet. Gross, gross grass. <sighs> Meet me in your butterfly, friends. Um, if you've watched my other split tutorials and flexibility tutorials, you've already seen these stretches, but they're very important before you jump into the crazy ones that I'm gonna show you. So, numero uno is your butterfly. Get your little toes together and sit up nice and tall. Um, you can either keep your feet close to your body or pull a little bit away. That's going to stretch different muscle groups. So from here, you're going to sit up nice and tall. You're going to fold forward in a flat back. You don't want to go over in a crunch. So in a nice flat back, you're going to lean over and we're going to hold. You're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Do, do, do. My feet smell like grass also. Gross grass. Then you're going to sit up nice and tall. You're going to push your little booty back. Point your toes, and you're now in a straight-legged pike. From here, again, flat back over. You can start your hands at your thighs. You're gonna glide them down to your toes. And hold. This is for your cute little hamstrings. Or in my case, my very tight, not so cute hamstrings. Holding here. Another option is to separate your feet by about one foot and then lean forward. This gives a little more space for your torso and also stretches a different part of your hammy. Hold this guy for about 30 more seconds. Then we're gonna come up. We're gonna go into our pigeon. And I think it's called a pigeon. Excuse me, YouTube, if I say the wrong thing, okay? You bring one leg in, knee to the floor, the other leg shoots back, and you wanna square your hip to the bent leg's heel, okay? This leg is extended in the back. If you sit up tall, this is a nice stretch through that hip flexor, but if you want, you can also lean forward and get a stretch in the bottom bent leg's glute. What do you think about that, Bray? <laughs> the look he just gave me, you guys. We're folding forward, we're in our pigeon. You're gonna hold this for guess how long? 30 beautiful seconds, okay? Come on up. Bend that back leg, you're now in a Z sit, all right? Then you're gonna straighten that front leg. I would flex it, this gives you a better stretch. Again, flat back over. Get another deeper stretch in that hamstring. And hold it here. How was everybody's day? Probably good, hopefully. What day is this coming out, Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Last day of July, Davis. All the way forward. Come on up and don't forget to do the other side. Bend your left knee in, straighten your right leg back. Sit up nice and tall. Get that right hip flexor stretching and fold forward to get your left booty. We all need a little bit of left booty in our lives. All the way forward, hold it here and come back up. Those are both 30 seconds, you guys. So we're now at 30, 30, 30, 30. 30, 30. It's been three minutes. Three minutes, everyone. Now you're gonna open up to your regular center split, okay? This is, if you don't have the band, you're just gonna go to your center. My tip for here, guys, is some of us are gonna be here. That's okay. What you wanna do is bring your legs in a little bit closer so that both of your sit bones your little booty bones, are on the floor. If there's space underneath your legs, they're too far apart. So you need to bring it in until everything is flat on the floor. 
your pinky toes wrap towards the floor in your turnout. You want to make sure you're not sickling. Ew! Also, for real, ew, there's a hair on my foot. I hope it's yours. Bye! <laughs> So rotate those pinky toes towards the floor and you guys are gonna stretch forward. Okay, I would hold this for about 60 seconds. What, not 30? Yes, 60 seconds. Eventually you'll be able to get those legs out wider and you're gonna hold it here. Again, what you really wanna do in your center split is make sure that there's no space between the floor and your legs, especially around your booty. If I'm kinda sitting up like this, I'm not doing my body justice. Yeah, bring your legs in and be kind to yourself. So if you don't have the band, this is your center split exercise. Sit up, do a little kitty cat crawl out to the center and you're gonna hold it here. Okay, cutie patooties, I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> when I first got this band, I was like, what the? There's no way this is gonna fit. <laughs> Brayden witnessed the whole thing. I. Realistically, this is what you're gonna probably look like. <laughs> it's like kinda... It's a little intimidating, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, we're gonna be real with you. It's not the most glamorous band to get into, but it's so effective once you're in it. So don't worry if you look like a dweeb getting into the band because that's what I'm about to show you. Here's how I am doing my center. I'm gonna put my little toes forward, okay? I'm gonna put one band around the um, arch of my foot, pull this guy ah, around here. How do I look? <laughs> Pretty good so far. Pretty good so far. Okay, so now you're like this, you're like a little, a little crab, okay? You're gonna straighten one leg out, and I'm now kind of in like a jazz split situation. I'm gonna pull this up behind my lower back, my lumbar spine, and I'm gonna straighten the other leg behind me. That wasn't so bad, right? That was the best one you've done yet. <laughs> you guys should have seen the off camera me trying to get into it. May I have fallen a couple times? It's gonna be okay. So we're now in this gorgeous stretch. Looks a little weird. Don't recommend doing it in public, okay? We're gonna stay in a safe space, everyone. Safe space. So, we're sitting up so tall. This is supporting my lower back. And I'm actually getting a really good stretch. So, shout, 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 shout out. So, shout out Dancewear Corner and shout out Gainer Minden. This is a really cool stretch band. I'm sitting up super tall. I do think that you can go forward, but it kind of um, defeats the purpose because this band is pulling back. I can also put a little bit of resistance on the band, and I'm now feeling more of a stretch in those adductors. So I'm pushing this back, flexing my little toes. I can point them too, sit up nice and tall. And if you are the lucky person who gets this band, you can also try this exercise at home while you're watching TV. Or Ati's videos. Or, okay, that's a better idea. While you're watching my videos, everyone. Thanks, Bray. <laughs> All right, so this is your center split with the flexibility band. This is pretty cool, it actually feels good. I just want everyone to know that Brayden just made me stop filming because my bow was like this. He said I looked funny. He did. Whatever. You look like a little antenna. Whatever, I'm beautiful, okay? You are. Thanks. <laughs> I set him up for that one. You guys, I know not everybody has that flexibility band yet, um, but, if you do have a yoga mat or even a towel or anything like that, if you shower and you have a towel, <laughs> this, this is what you're gonna sit on. Um, we're gonna be doing our flexibility stretches for our arabesque. So what we wanna do is work on our back flexibility and our back strength. So you're gonna get onto all flo floors, all floors, I guess you are getting on the floor, and on all fours, making sure there's no curve in your back, it's a flat back. You're going to push out of your palms and lift that leg up. You want to find your rotation. You're going to pulse. One, two, three. You're going to keep going, you guys, making sure that your toes are pointed, your leg is straight, and you're inching up higher and higher and higher each time. 
You're gonna feel that in your booty. You're gonna feel it in your lower back. What you're doing is training those lumbar muscles, your lower back muscles, to get your extension higher and higher. Make sure that you do your other side. Really fast pro tip. I, of course, am always still working on my turnout, but you wanna make sure that you're not parallel. This is a good exercise, but not good for training your arabesque because arabesque is externally rotated. So you do wanna make sure, I'll show you on this side. Check out that cool 360, yeah. Oh, baby, it's triple! Oh, yeah! Um, that you have that rotation there without your hip opening up. This is like, like a little circa 80s workout, okay? Keep your hips squared as best you can with your rotation and pulse up, up, up. I would try 15 of those with three sets, so 45 total on both sides. What was that? That was me accident. <laughs> okay, sweet friends, we are here at the bar. If you don't have a bar, grab a friend, grab a chair, grab a counter, grab some. Some things stable, Brayden. <laughs> you guys grab onto something that you can hold. Um, you're gonna grab your cute little band and we're gonna work on our arabesques. Don't worry if your range of motion isn't super extensive. This band is gonna help you get there. So I'm gonna be lifting my left leg into my arabesque, which means I'm gonna put my right shoulder through. So just like you're putting a bag on. <gasps> Don't look at my leotard lines. <laughs> Don't look at my butt. I'm gonna put this around my shoulder, okay? I'm gonna bring it behind my body, all right? I'm gonna loop it through my foot, the arch of my foot, not once, but twice. Ta-da, for extra support. Get any little tangles out, perfect. Now you have a little, a little band. I'm gonna turn towards the bar, and you can already see how it's helping me pull my chest up with my leg as well. So, you can do one hand, you can do two. I'm gonna do one so that I can actually face the camera. And we're gonna lean a little bit forward. And as your chest is going down, your leg is being lifted by the band. Cool. I think me and this band are friends now. So, just this right now is stretching my back out so nice. I'm holding it here. You can bring it all the way down into a planche, keeping the support of the band. What I do love too is that if I bend my knee, I'm out of breath. If I bend my knee, which is not correct technically, the band loosens and it's gonna fall off. So it kind of forces you to actually stretch your knee and stretch your toes so that resistance is kept on the band. So again, you could even do a fun little bending into attitude and straightening out into your arabesque. Bend and straight. You can do the same thing in your planche. Bend and stretch and bend and stretch. Keeping your chest up, your legs straight. Oh, yeah. See you guys later. Our last exercise for today is our tilt. So your tilt looks like this. You bring it up, you have your extension, and then you tilt through. So what you're doing is you're taking your leg hold, you're tilting over your center axis, and you're now in a tilt. What tends to happen is people <laughs> tilt this way, you get a little crotch shot, which is not nice, okay? And it's just not technically right. So, what I want you to do before trying this tilt is cruise over to my how to do a leg hold vlog so that you can learn the ball change leg hold. Learn the different progressions because you need to have your leg hold in order to get your tilt, okay? Even if your leg hold is not as high or as bomb.com as you want it to be, that's okay. Your tilt can still be really cool. Um, again, it's the same kind of idea, thigh, calf, ankle, foot, depending on where you are. No matter what, you need to drop your hip. Then lean over from there. You wanna make sure you're not hiking it. 
My teacher used to call that a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Okay, so don't be that person. What I recommend is starting in a beautiful first position, having one hand at the bar depending on which foot you're lifting. I'm lifting right, my left hand's at the bar. I'm just gonna do a nice little a brush up and hold. From here, my eye line goes down, I tilt over, making sure my leg doesn't get in front of me, keeping it to the side and straight. The next progression would be calf. Head, tilt, keep your leg to the side of you. Good, and bring it back down. The next progression is your ankle. Foot, lean over, keep that leg. See my leg kind of wanted to come in front. Keep it to the side. The next progression is your foot. Up, tilt, all the way over, and hold. You want to keep your rotation. Keep that bottom leg nice and straight. Keep your eye line and neck lifted to the side. And bring it back up. Those are your tilt progressions, people. Try those for like 30 seconds each. Few times and over the course of time, you'll be able to get it higher and higher and higher. Now, let's do it with the band. Okay, you have your cutie baby band from Gainer Minden. Um, and you're going to put it around your shoulder, again like a little bag, depending on which foot you're going to lift up. If you're a righty like me, you're going to put it on your left shoulder, loop it behind you, lace that baby around, it's tangled. I don't like tangles. Okay. Lace it around. Put it on your foot. One more time. Always twice. So that it doesn't snap. On here. Okay. You're going to come find your little bar. You can take your leg up through a bend if you'd like. Then stretch it up. The band's going to want to kind of come with you. Keep it behind, <laughs> keep it behind your body, okay? From here, you now have the tension on your left shoulder. You can hold on to your leg, your foot, whatever. I would keep it in the front, lean over, and the band is helping lift my right leg all the way over. Good, bring it back up. You can also do a nice little bend and stretch, bend, and stretch, lean, and let the band bring your leg up for you. If you need more tension, you can pull on the band itself by your ankle and let that leg come even further. Come back up and go off into the distance. <laughs> Answers. You guys, seriously, enter the freaking giveaway. I'm really excited. Subscribe, follow me, follow Dance Work Corner. Comment on both of our giveaway posts. Comment whatever you like, something nice, maybe a joke, something funny. Tell me why you want this band. We're gonna be picking our winner. I'm gonna pick the winner. On Friday. <gasps> this Friday, she said. Yes, this Friday. And then the cute little band will be shipped out to you this next week. That's amazing. You're, you can have one of these in your home in just a few days, okay? So, Go into the giveaway. Good luck to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to be gentle on your body. Before you do these stretches, you guys, you have to warm up. Um, cardio and sweating and getting your blood pumping is essential before stretching so that you don't break your muscles. Okay? Love to you. Love to you, Brayden. Mm -hmm. Love to me because self love, baby. Um, love to Gainer Minden. Love to Dance for a Corner. And most importantly, love to Milo, my dog. Shout out, puppy. Um, love you guys, see you next week, and good luck, I hope you win.